ladies and gentlemen, that song is about racism. <laughs> Featuring Brian Brushwood on the melodica and Justin Robert Young. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to do a live performance. Oh my God. Be jealous. Racist. That's my new rap song. <laughs> I'm racist. I'm Yo, I'm racist. Yeah. I say, hey, you, your race is bad. Hey, I'm my race is better than yours. I'm racist. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm racist. And then it kind of cuts to the, you know, the, the, the beat drops and you get some faux comments from technically your classes because if you think about it, hey, get out of here, pencil dick. The ball's deep in yeah. this. Yeah. Hey, get out of here. The way you speak. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Hello, you most beautiful of peoples. Live from Orlando at CreateCon, I'm Brian Brushwood, joined as ever by the inimitable co-host J.R.Y. It's time for Night Attack. What's going on, buddy? I mean, it's like dusk attack. Dusk. <laughs> it's, de- it's, it's a day attack. Let's call it. It is a day attack. Uh, we are live right now at CreateCon in Orlando, Florida. Let me hear it. So I grew up in Orlando, and this building, which has become 19,000 different things since I was, uh, you know, lived here in the early to mid 80s, at one point was a shopping mall with an arcade, like literally right on the third level. I remember looking down from those grates, and now we are here doing bullshit. (laughs) Not only are we doing bullshit, but like this entire place has turned into, forgive me for saying, a bullshit factory. It's it's as though (laughs) HBO's Silicon Valley reached out one tendril and blessed this place where you used to play arcade games. Uh, No, absolutely. And there are like all these awesome incubators and they are doing really uh, rad things with this space. But today, Mm. uh, as the Goonies said, it is our time down here. (laughs) Uh, welcome, 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 everybody. We would like to join one of our best friends on the planet. He is the host of the Daily Tech News Show and somebody that I think has a very kissable mouth. It is Tom Merritt, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You, you would know. <laughs> So, uh, uh, all right, so look, you are, you're what, three weeks into your insane, adrenaline-fueled, white-knuckle extravaganza of politics? I don't like, I don't think in colors, but sure. <laughs> uh, uh, certainly, uh, there was uh, two weeks that I was in Philly, yep. and I was in Cleveland for the Republican and Democratic National Conventions. Hey, anybody watch any of that on BitTorrent News? Huh? <laughs> That's actually why we had you guys cheer at the beginning, so we could get a percentage of the, <laughs> the noise. Science. Science. Exactly. Yeah. This was, this was BitTorrent uh, focus marketing. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was super crazy, man, especially in Philly, because we had kind of done it for a week and we like understood what we wanted to do. We were you, looking you out got, for guests. And that's the worst part is like the last 20 minutes is when you finally feel like you have it figured out. And you're like, oh, I get how to, uh, it's over. Yeah, exactly. We were joking like, oh, don't worry. We're going to nail this next week at the Green, Green Party's <laughs> uh, uh, oh, convention at a Ramada in Secaucus. Uh, it is going to be lit. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Brad, J- Dr. Jill Stein is one of Brian Brushwood's new friends on Twitter, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know if you heard. Wait, what happened? Wait, oh, do you not know? No. Dude, Jill Stein, Dr. Jill Stein, the Green Party presidential candidate. Dr. Jill Stein. Okay, Re- sure, retweeted that me. one. Yeah. She retweeted me. What did I, you say? I, I said, um, you Jill Stein. <laughs> I said, I said Yo, watch, your body's watch Stein banging. <laughs> no, no, no. I was saying, I was saying, like, you, you hit her with a, like, hey, girl, you up? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, I said, uh, this is a weird we- year. I said, this year, both candidates have over 50% disapproval, uh, unfavorable ratings. Yeah, that's if true. If there was ever yeah. a third, uh, third party year, this is it. And then the, uh, not 
not the third party candidate I was hoping would retweet me. Oh, but, but, hey. big shots to Jill Stein. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. <laughs> booyaka, booyaka. Not enough ballots for Brian. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But uh, no, that was good. That was so, cool. So you didn't, you didn't at reply her? No, no. So somebody you just put there. it out in the wild. Yes. I put it out in the wild and somebody... And uh, Dr. Jill Stein <laughs> on whatever like... iPhone carved out of natural <laughs> reclaimed wood. Uh, <laughs> it is like, oh, this is a tweet for which I would like to re... <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself uh, to the guy who runs Scam School. Let me bring him to my followers. Uh, but the weird sideways thing was the moment that happened, it's like all of a sudden all the children bubbled up and started arguing, but they made sure to like at reply me as well as they're all like, man. Trump is great. Yeah, Hillary's great. So it was only after you got the the Jill Stein spotlight. Yeah, and then uh, uh, there was a lot. They were fighting in memes. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. See, now this is the best part. <laughs> is that like, and 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 correct me if I'm wrong. Sure. But when Brian wants to get real on Twitter, like it's, it's usually are, like. 30 seconds before I fall asleep. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I'm like, number no, one, you know, good ideas talking politics yeah. on the Twitter. Man. Also, 30 minutes before you fall asleep is very often code for ambient. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there is a, a very, you can tell, you too yes. can tell the personal opinions of Brian Brushwood <laughs> just by looking at your Twitter machine. <laughs> because you do, you, you, if it's just like a random thing where it's like, hey, anybody see the Ghost Rider trailer? Like, it's just a fun thing, right? right. If you're getting real, it's always, uh, um, uh, stage direction, like, <laughs> shuffles feet, yes, uh, yes, yes. you know, uh, paints uh, <laughs> cheeks in a red hue so as to appear cuter, uh, has an oversized novelty <laughs> lollipop in hand. Uh, do, do you guys think that voting for a third party is cool? Like... <laughs> It's too close to home. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's too like, right. There was just like this whole like stream <laughs> that I saw of you just being like, so uh, squints hard to <laughs> see the truth. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you think that uh, maybe it'd be cool to vote for a third party this yeah. year? And then like step <laughs> runs away immediately. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hides under rock and hopes that yeah. fallout isn't nuclear. <laughs> well, and, and what's funny is I can't even feel cool because like you, you interviewed uh, the third party uh, vice presidential candidate. You're sending me photos of Gary Johnson sitting on your couch. All right. Your Can butt, your let's, ass let's, was next to his ass. Let's go. Yeah. Let's really? pull back. Exactly. Let's, let's go. Go ahead and go see this uh, oh, real Jesus. quick. Please, and, can we not uh, go see anything? Metaphorically. Okay. Unless we get to 1776 patrons. Oh. <laughs> Wait, oh, are you saying Wait, you will have your asshole distended? <laughs> if we can get to that. That started as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but now that you're thinking it through, you're like, mm, maybe that'd be a lot of followers. There's a lot of patrons. Uh, uh, there's really no way to recover from that, nope. is there? Keep going. Yeah. Let's go see. We're just Let's here. go see. Here's... Uh, so I, I'm about to sit down with uh, hold on, Vice. Time, hold on, time out. <laughs> if there, if the da if there was a dance, and it was called the Goatsy, uh -huh. what would it look like? <laughs> now watch me whip. <laughs> now watch me Goatsy. <laughs> now that would be. That's a lot of movement. I mean, you got to start with no pants, right? What's, what's funny right? is I was going to ask people to show us what the dance would look like. Then I realized only one of us was a contestant on Dance Showdown. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a that's a, a call for help right there. Uh, uh, okay, all right. So the so first I'm, move of the goat oh, Jesus, dance okay. Is you're crying because <laughs> you're at home. <laughs> and then what, Brian? <laughs> And then you pop a pill. Uh, no, no. Uh, then you open a, uh, 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 what's the, amyl, amyl nitrate? Is that what it is? Do it as a dance, though. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you start off, you're crying. And then you, <laughs> and then you, <laughs> and you turn around and spread your ass eight feet wide. That's. <laughs> eight feet. Eight feet? That's like nope. the wingspan of Tim Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You were talking about future president Gary Johnson? <laughs> Yes, Justin. <laughs> oh, thank you for this smooth segue <laughs> between you going step by step on your goatsy dance to my career as a legitimate broadcast journalist. I'm sorry. Anyway, you spread your butthole so far 
that all you can see is the infinite blackness of space. <laughs> you spread anyway, it so wide, you see the emptiness of your own soul. <laughs> anyway, what about entitlement reform? <laughs> uh, is it possible oh. in the upcoming Congress? <laughs> uh, so we are uh, we're, we're doing this thing in Philadelphia. We have our own little set. It's in this rickety ass tent right outside of the Wells Fargo Center, and uh, periodically. I guess I have to really thank the Bernie Sanders uh, delegates who were so upset that Hillary Clinton was going to get uh, the nomination, which on one hand, you're kind of like, Jesus, did you not read the spoilers? Like, I'm like, <laughs> like this is already out, bro. This yeah. wasn't exactly uh, a movie that had a surprise ending. Like, you know, everybody was there to nominate Hillary Clinton. Uh, they got so pissed off that they kept running into our media tent to get coverage and attention, which, you know, that's fine, that's cool for them to do. Made everybody in the media tent very happy because we had something to talk about. Uh, but then eventually, as soon as that happened, other people started walking through that tent. It almost like made our little tent famous, and uh, so people kept walking through. Was it like those. tours? Like, I want to see where the Bernie Sanders people Well, were. no, all right, so this is really how it works at, at these conventions, is you always wonder whether or not, like how your a radio show, I don't know how many people listen to political talk shows and stuff like that, but it's always like, oh, wow, at the conventions, all these people are talking. There's Media Row, which we were not on, uh, wherein you have guest check-in. So it's like, are you a famous person? Go to this guest check-in, and then that notice goes out to all the radio shows, and all right. the radio shows say like, yes, I would like to have Reince Priebus talk about whatever on my show. Uh, we're not part of that. So you had to walk through ours and basically just be like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just walking through. You want to interview little old me? Right. Uh, and then we get brought on. Or they, they would get brought onto our set. So Bill Weld is walking through. And you can just feel the excitement building in this room. <laughs> uh, when I mention libertarian vice president, presidential nominee Bill Weld. So we get to interview him. But I'm texting Brian before, during, and after the Bill Weld thing. And you would have met, like, just uh, between that and Gary Johnson later came on our set, the presidential nominee for the Libertarian Party. Okay, and I definitely, definitely am looking at the conversation. Okay, wait, here. Uh, like, show that to Tom. And I want Tom to, Tom to back up, just a yay or nay, when I tell you that Brian's reaction was as if I had texted one of his... Uh, young uh, uh, tween, uh, your daughter, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that I was hanging out with Taylor Swift. Oh, sure, right? sure. Or, or some teen heartthrob. Okay, like, so uh, Justin texts over just a photo of Governor G Gary Johnson right. sitting at the, at the BTN set being interviewed, and I respond in all caps, ah! <laughs> Twice. But, uh, and then, like and, a full A-H-H exclamation point, and then you started the process again. Right. And then, <laughs> it was, ah! And then I texted a bitmoji of me in my underwear swooning, saying, I can't even. <laughs> Le legitimately described. Accurately described. Uh, so, yeah, you were excited. Sure. Uh, and, and what, what did he smell like? You want to know what? <laughs> Gary Johnson was wearing, like, the kind of sport coat. That, all right, so... The, and this is a little inside sauce. <laughs> Whenever I would make, talk about <laughs> Gary Johnson with other journalists, yeah. everybody went to the joke about how he gets high all the sure, time. Sure, sure. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he smiles he is, a lot. He is somebody that is for uh, uh, common sense drug reform. Uh, and yada, yada, yada. It maybe owns a company that is all about weed paraphernalia. Sure. <laughs> maybe right. the CEO. Uh, and he shows up to the set. In a, and it actually doesn't hurt that, like, in this picture, we'll tweet out this picture that I took, <laughs> but his eyes are closed and he looks like the pie high dog. Like, <laughs> and he's wearing, like, you know, I had to go to get adult clothes at Uniqlo to go, like, be on television. Sure. And, like, that jacket, I was like, eh, too loud, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it's just, like, this white jacket with these, like, blue pinstripes well, on he's it. He's got, a, like, like, a turquoise shirt, too. And like, a turquoise short yeah. uh, of, of, of sneakers and a, and a jean, you know, pants or whatever. It's, it's as though Don Johnson never uh, grew out of his Miami Vice face and yeah. now he's 65. I just changed his name, Gary. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. He's like, I don't know, I want to be president, right? <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? Boom, boom, boom. 
Uh, so yeah, no, Gary Johnson was was great. You know, the only person that really uh, I, I had any kind of opinion on that came over was uh, the former governor of San Francisco, who is now the lieutenant governor of that's California. That's mayor, mayor of San Francisco? That's former mayor, mayor, okay, former mayor okay. of that's, San Francisco. Uh, uh, that's uh, political Newsom. correspondent Just Robert Young from Bitor News. Here's all former I'm saying. king of San Francisco. Uh, yeah, disqualifyingly, I would not vote for him because he's so handsome. Uh-huh. Like, he is a shock. Have you, have you ever had that? Like, you run into somebody that's like, insanely handsome and you're like I distrust you <laughs> like you have to be getting away with something sure sure like that there was there was just I I, I had a visceral oh, yeah. reaction to no him. when he he ran against Tom Amiano for mayor when I was living in San Francisco and he was the conservative candidate because it's San Francisco yeah exactly right? it's like uh, and I'm they, only mandating three gay marriages right. <laughs> Uh, and, and per yeah, household, they would use that against him. Like, how can you trust someone who's that pretty? Like, That's yeah. amazing. That was the uh, and and it should be that that is a legitimate thing. Uh, <laughs> all right, there is something that we need to get to because yeah. seventeen one of the, seventy six. One of the elements because uh, Patreon dot com. Brian will. Well, you, you can indeed watch him whip and watch him goat see. <laughs> I will do the dance while you actually perform the actual goat see. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll shout America at the end. How about we can't, that? We can't let this go any I, further. I'm just saying. If I that love was, that this started with me talking good. about my childhood memories, my pure childhood <laughs> memories, and now we're here. Uh, there is uh, uh, something that part of uh, being, uh, uh, you know, covering the, the conventions was that I was very, very tired. We were doing these, like, big, long eight-hour blocks on television or quote-unquote television. And... Uh, you know, when we didn't really get to do after show and pre show, and there were some videos that came in during that time that we're going to need to get to. But before we do, sure, let's remind everybody patreon.com slash night attack is the reason why this show happens. How many patrons do we have in the audience here tonight? Oh, 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 yeah. uh, it is, uh, including, by the way, the, the Don of Patreon, uh, uh, Time Jumper right here. Let's give him a specific round of applause. This, uh, you know, we've done, what, two live shows now? Three Hold live on. shows this year? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, this has been uh, an, an amazing uh, experience for us to actually bring this show live to everybody. It happens because... You guys support the show. So very, very much, either you are listening to this live or you are here live, thank you guys. You have no idea how much this means to us to be able to come out and meet everybody in person. Give yourselves another round of applause. You guys are the best. Yes. And now our favorite part of the Patreon plug uh, is... I'm trying, I'm trying to find a full name, <laughs> but I have a bunch of first names, but that's not going to have the input. Oh, no. wait, there it is. There it is. Hey man. Yeah. I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. Uh huh. But hot damn, do I love who? Byron Thompson. Byron, Byron Thompson. Thompson. Byron Thompson. No, do you remember that time that we all chanted "All hail Byron Thompson"? I mean, I think it sounded a little like "All hail Byron Thompson." All hail Byron Thompson. All hail Byron Thompson. All hail. Byron Thompson. Just for the next hour. He's like, <laughs> and then we, we, we get to a point where Byron's like, I did not pledge a dollar for this bullshit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cancels his pledge. Too weird. Too weird. Uh, thank you to everybody. <laughs> the chat room. Chat room is going nuts on Byron Thompson. That's amazing. <laughs> Dude, thank you to everybody who's made that leap to being an actual uh, supporter of our horseshit. That's amazing. Uh, all right, we got a video that we want to break down, and I'm not going to lie to you. It involves an awkward white girl. Uh, Are there any awkward white girls in the audience? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and, and bring up uh, somebody that has never been on the show, and I've always wanted to be on the show. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jocelyn Moffat, who is not expecting yeah. to be on the show. Our official awkward white girl correspondent, Jocelyn. I, I don't, I don't, uh, listen, we, we, we can't just have a bunch of awkward white dudes on uh, the dais here. We need an awkward white girl here. Uh, uh, welcome to the show, Jocelyn. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can just feel the enthusiasm radiating. Uh, all right, Joss. We Awkward need you. white girl thought she was done for the day, so. <laughs> <laughs> just when you thought you were out, we pull you back in. Uh, all right, this okay. is, how would you describe how this came to us? Uh, I caught it on my Twitter feed, and within like 20 minutes, it had been pulled. But really? as you know, the internet never forgets. Oh, no. <laughs> In fact, actually, after it was The pulled, North and the internet remembers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually was trying to, I, I, after the fact, after it was pulled, I was like, oh, I'm sure somebody backed it up. I was like, just in case, I tried doing the, uh, the, the Pwn YouTube uh, yeah. uh, downloads, and I was able to download it after it was made private. Oh, so the link was gone, but you could still get to correct, it. Correct, correct. You could actually download it. Um, but then the whole internet got it as well. Now, he here's the thing. Let's be real clear. All right. We all done Let's goofed. Let's just be honest. Let's just be real. Let's, uh, we all done goofed. Uh, and the, and, and I will say in advance that the way the person, not the character we're about to draw of this person. Sure. <laughs> but the actual person handled it pretty, pretty well after the fact. Oh, what happened? I didn't see the, uh, the aftermath. Oh, she, she, uh, full on just wrote an email to, to everyone, did a public post where it's just like, hey man, I was doing a silly thing, and then it turned into another thing, that's not how I feel, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So, understanding that everything seems to be fine. Yes. The video is pulled. This person is not a racist. <laughs> so, that's war correct. warning. <laughs> The views you are great about to preamble. see are not necessarily the views expressed by the person you're about to see expressing them. <laughs> right. Now, uh, let me let me ask Jocelyn, oh, who we have brought up uh, on You are on not stage, prepared. Uh, without any preparation, have you ever seen the video, I Want to Be Ninja? No. This is great. How, about, how many of you guys have seen this video? Oh, this is great! <laughs> All right. Now, uh, we, have, we have had a bit uh, of a history on this and other versions of our program. Uh, we may have started some avalanches. Uh, we, uh, we, we still love you. Um, what's her name? Just uh, Melissa. Melissa, yeah. <laughs> yeah Melissa's will, will, will be done, done. Yeah. right? Uh, uh, we, we, have, we, we very much revel in the soft underbelly of the Internet and people doing things that are outside of their comfort zone. This is certainly one of them. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and take I a look. Real quick, so do, do you know who, right do you know who this you person is? You guys have no idea. Do, no. Do, uh, this per she was a contestant on The Apprentice. Oh. 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 And uh, well approved of well, by a certain presidential we've candidate. We've spoken about <laughs> Gary Johnson enough. <laughs> you guys won't give equal time. All right, here we go. So uh, this is a person who Sweet. has a bed, uh, a bed company. She does Murphy beds because okay. her last name's Murphy. And as we all know, I brush wood for a living because my name is Brushwood. Sure. <laughs> and you never age. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and Tom is only judged by his character and sure. deeds. Sure. <laughs> uh, all right, take a look at this. This is Jen's new songs. Already. It says, I want to be ninja. Okay. And I know it's pronounced that way because it's spelled N-E-E-N-J-A. Yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's true. Also what I can only describe as iMovie chic as far as the, uh, the graphics go. Yeah, interesting color choices. Uh, all right. Get ready. Okay, so wait, these... Wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, hold on, wait a minute, pause it. <laughs> and I swear to God, we're gonna get to the reason why this is interesting. But just please revel in the fact right now, put in your mind that this is done to promote a business. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> like all the B-roll is like telling the story of like, oh my God, look what a popular release party I had for my new bed. Well, and she's like, oh, I have the pink carpet for my new bed release party. So this is it's promoting like, a Murphy bed company. Sure, yeah, this no, is, yeah. She's Jennifer Murphy. Correct, correct. For Murphy bed. Correct. Okay. And, and this right. is their new bed, and the best way to promote the new bed is to sing this song. A bunch of ladies posing on the on the pink carpet. DJ. By the way, back it up. That DJ. I want you to see. He does a thing, and then he puts his hand up, like as if to say, "I don't know. Is that what you want to get out of here?" <laughs> <laughs> he tweaks a couple of nipples, <laughs> and then apologizes with his eyes. Sat down to scratch my head. What could this day bring? It could be anything. All right, 
Nice sound effects. Let yeah. me introduce to you the real star of this video. Okay. Because now you would think, I mean, Jennifer Murphy, she's the one singing right, no. the song. Murphy, yeah. Beds, Jennifer nope, Murphy. Nope. Yeah. The Beds real Jennifer star. Uh, uh, you know what? Much as in uh, Batman Begins, um, uh, what was, what was Qui-Gon's name in that? Uh, yeah, Raj Al Ghul. <laughs> yeah. Right there. She's right there among the friends. <laughs> So and watch uh, those how, eyes. How would you describe? She is a, a, she's a very Asian. A, yeah, <laughs> she was she's speaking a, a language. I think it was Asian. <laughs> Cable guy reference. I'm not racist. Uh, All right. The background is nothing but white women and a few uh, middle-aged white men and one <laughs> Asian woman. And by the way, all the white people. Cheshire cat grins from ear to ear, like, like this man, is this clearly, is gonna be great. Super cute, and 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 uh, there's already a skeptical look on her face. She is so uh, quite good right now. Is sitting there with her hands put together, mm. very yeah. stoic. <laughs> and by the way, her her face is like that, right at the point where you hear the kung fu fighting drums that are building <laughs> up in the background of this song. She, her face will not change. <laughs> All right, now, do you even follow what's happening so far, Joss? I have no idea what is going on. Right, but, okay, so she's singing uh, about a bomb and getting chow. But something about beds, too? Like, yeah, no, but, but also, please buy my Murphy bed. Yeah. her bed, like, we should buy this? For, for the record, she is singing in front of a line of Murphy beds, which I did not realize before. I thought that they were just cabinets. Excuse me? Wait. Maybe I too could be ninja. I want <laughs> Pause it. <ninja>. Pause it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 the two degrees of eyebrow elevation is the most reaction you will get out of our real star this entire performance long. Her stoicism, number one, absolutely legendary. Number two, you can just tell in those eyes are three words, oh hell no. <laughs> Still sitting there with absolute poise, uh, blood dripping from her clenched fists. <laughs> I want to be ninja. <laughs> I want to be ninja. <laughs> He's also not pleased. <laughs> All right, so so the camera ever so briefly moves over to the side, and you see a middle-aged white man saying, "Oh, hell no." <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy, all right, there are two amazing parts of this. A, who finds this not funny at all? And who finds this the funniest thing on the planet? This guy, you know, uh, uh, apparently, like, you know, uh, uh, a more tan swinger John McCain oh, is yeah. just <laughs> having the time of his life. Reco he's like recording he's it like, oh, I gotta save this shit. This is gold. Shit's I can't going wait to send gag. this to Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> this is going up on nine gag. Right. This was this was this year, right? This, this year? Is, this is two this weeks was ago. This month. <laughs> this is current. This month. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> And meanwhile, there again, everybody's grinning, and just the the picture of poise right there. I want to be ninja. <laughs> she looks Pause, aside, right saying, now. "Like she's By like." By the way, this song, one minute and nineteen seconds in of a four minute and twenty nine second <laughs> song. Oh. Okay, there's this she's moment. Really got she's really movement yeah, down. She's doing, in, in, in her um, uh, racist accent, uh, she's doing a chopping move, and her eyes, ever so briefly, land on uh, Raj Al Ghul's, and, uh, <laughs> and, then, and then immediately look away. Credit card, I use my numb chops, even while feeding ducks. 
What? Even what? <laughs> okay, number I, one. I, I, I think if, if, if there's anything else that we can, can give her any kind of pass on is that the rhymes suck nuts, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll use my nunchucks while I'm feeding ducks. ducks. Well, I mean, because ducks, ducks. because ducks. they're gonna ducks. catch the ducks that, to eat yeah, them because the they're Asian. <laughs> I assume. Is that the extended universe on this song? Yeah. Yes. Is that can. <laughs> what you need to do. What you need to do if you are listening to this only on audio. <laughs> By the way, this freeze frame is all you ever need to see. <laughs> uh, what you need to do, I'm sorry, I'm putting this shit on Snapchat <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, so that's how you do it. <laughs> uh, all you need to know with this is that they're is just like this total cross section yes. uh, of, well, of, of, of the audience. There's a spectrum of smiles from genuine joy to plastic as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but the performance, how many times do you think that she rehearsed this? Four. Oh, what, a lot. Ta what yeah. take is this? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You know that she was in her mirror, yeah, like yeah. doing, like, I use my nunchucks. <laughs> no, no, no. I can do it better. 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 I, right, better. Right. I use my nunchucks. I got it. Okay, good. <laughs> like, you know that she was rehearsing this. She has so many. When she does the Netflix thing, she has this, like, like Netflix. <laughs> like, she has this, like, oops, like, like shrug emoji. Oops. Ah, uh, okay. I might do it. I might be a ninja soon. <laughs> oh, not, not, not. I'm gonna be ninja. <laughs> not what is that face? Chow down, chow down to China. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> I mean, we all know that. Chinatown's filled with ninjas. Come on, guys. No, but She's just right to stay. up in her face. She yeah. does. It is it, like it's almost a dominance play. Like, like. <laughs> although I don't think it's menacing. I think it's like we team up, right? This is where <laughs> you take me to the next level. <laughs> I practice every day. I practice every way. I don't always. Hey, man! I practice every day. I practice every way. You're getting like, better and better. Every, every way. way. In fact, there's a new dance that can illustrate all the ways. I really wish I could. I drink from sippy cups. You know I won't give up. I gotta try my best. You can expect no less. That chow has not a clue. It's too good to be true. Yeah. All right, pause it. There is just this one moment, if you only fixate on the one Asian lady in the crowd, where it's like you pan over and it's just everyone's like, oh my god. And like Effectively, it is the crowd that happens at your office Christmas party when sure. somebody is singing karaoke, right? Sure, sure, sure. Everyone's really happy. I'm sure they all know her. And like it's like, oh, look, she's like letting her own thing out you know this is like a thing the it swinger says, john mccain it says go girl in leds <laughs> up there to the top left oh she <laughs> went there <laughs> feels good i must confess i catch a flying tick with my chopstick <laughs> looking right at her looks right at her with my chopstick get it because you're asian <laughs> uh, i want to be ninja You guys, I think I almost a ninja. I almost a ninja. All right, hold on. Is I'm that just, dubbed? I, I, hold on. Is I'm that thinking. a full-on middle finger? <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> Zoom in. This shit's enhance. 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 Dude. This is some Zapruder film shit. <laughs> I almost did a ninja. I tried to chop, 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 chow down. Take chow down to Chinatown. I almost a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
a photographer's face says, yeah, that's going on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, all right, so I, I think Tom's theory, uh, I'm starting to think, like, this is dubbed. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 yeah. This is, like, yeah, she's no, pre-recorded. It's a, it's a later track. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she, I'm sure she did a live, you know, singing along with her backing track thing, and then they just played this over it. So, because, look, Tom, they want to present themselves in the best light possible. Well, sure, yeah. Which is why they sing about Murphy Bits. You, you don't want anyone to misinterpret the message. <laughs> yeah, right? Do you think that there was a point that she was like, uh, I want to be ninja? No. Uh, yeah. yeah. What about, uh, uh... Jennifer, can, can we get a longer E <laughs> on that? I snuck up to his place, opened my ninja case, pulled out my ninja gear. I hope he didn't hear. I sneak up Jesus, to his Jesus, Jennifer. Room. He's sleeping, I assume. I didn't think that he... All right, I've kind of fallen in love with Swinger John McCain. Yeah. <laughs> By like, the way, I'm also a... realizing that Swinger John McCain is just Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty seconds left. Gotta get show at last. I tried with all my might to put up a good fight. Did ninja move real fast? Oh, zoom in. Yes, I did. I took down Chad. I finally ninja. No, all right. So here, let me let me let's go from left to right. Left to right. Okay. Bored boyfriend. Yep. Right? The girl the who's probably your best one friend. Super fan. Yeah. yeah, best friend who's like, oh my god, I can't believe Jenny's doing this. This is so <laughs> fun. Uh, the girl who thinks the Susan, song Susan sucks. Sarandon. Yeah, Susan Sarandon <laughs> just thinks the song's terrible but doesn't realize it's racist. And then, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Chinatown. That's where you chop them down to. <laughs> oh, so Susan Sarandon's starting to dance over there. No clapping! No clapping! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, hey, by oh, way, that the wasn't official. even the official one! <laughs> No, pre-release exclusive. They don't want you to be ninja, so you gonna be ninja. Oh, be the best. Uh, in um, fact, I'll tell you what we do have. We do have Ric Flair. We we have we we have we have we have Rick. No, come on up here, Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. What's uh, happening? Uh, just a uh, uh, real quick, uh, a one-sentence review here from from Ric Flair about that video. Whoa, big man! All I gotta say is that girl. Is a ninja being kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, son of a gun. Whoa! <laughs> Rick Flair, ladies it's and amazing gentlemen. He was able to make it out to create. It was Con. great, yeah. It's huge. I mean, he used to run this territory, so, you know, he's here a lot. All right, Joss. <laughs> how, how does that happen? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Like, so, no, like, have, what is the closest you've like ever I, experienced to uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just want to take a BuzzFeed quiz that's like, who are you in the audience while watching the I Want to Be Ninja song? I, 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 I... I don't. I don't know. I. <laughs> <laughs> we broke Joss. How, how do you? How do you just say uh, this is what I want to do with my life? Right, this so, is the person I want to be today. <laughs> so, so let me put you in this situation, right? Because there, aside from Ric Flair in the audience, uh, it was all all women, right? <laughs> Let's say one of your female friends comes up to you and says. Oh my God! You're not gonna believe this. I wrote this hilarious song, and I want to do it at so the work. So this is 100 original. This yeah. is all her. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that, that this is something that I really want to perform. Uh, I, my my husband has a studio. We're gonna go like make the song pre-recorded. I think it's gonna sell a lot of beds. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna move. Oh, dude, so many beds. Like this is really gonna be the thing that sets us apart from other Murphy bed distributors, uh, and and plays you the song, or you read just the lyrics. What do you say to that friend? 
Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, one of our favorite things to do at live events is to get you guys to sell, uh, tell us stories and then judge you. Um, we have a little game called Don't Get Brodied. Normally, it's a call-in affair where all you have to do literally is be just interesting enough that we don't give a thumbs down yeah, to you. Yeah, uh, effectively, this is you guys telling your most interesting story ever. These are rodeo rules. So the person who has told the longest story before you get the thumbs down is the winner. wins the night. And uh, we will have some uh, some prizes for you at the end. I don't know exactly what they'll be. But uh, we'll, you know we'll what? Actually, out. hell, uh, we'll preview next week's uh, Scam Stuff release. Hey, how many of you guys have been seeing us drinking coffee up here? Um, coffee. Yeah, just some coffee. Eat shit, it was beer. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have one of these we can give away. This is a Lolo lid that uh, looks like a coffee cup lid, but secretly lets you be an alcoholic. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> so if you are hiding your alcohol consumption, <laughs> congratulations. Breakthroughs in technology have allowed you to do so much. All right, so here's the thing. If you have a story, and by the way, the failures are just as important as the successes, and you can keep going as many times as you want, but just realize, like, we're going to say go, and if you ever hear yourself dipping into a two-second chunk that's not interesting, skip it. Like, figure out a way to get right to the point. Uh, but everybody who wants to play and compete for a, a giant prize, uh, just come on up to that um, Come nobody's on moving. up to the mic. Do we have any previous Brody winners in the house? We do. We Garrett do. Weinzer, Garrett all, Weinzer. of course, the man. Let's all get a big round of applause for Garrett, Garrett. for putting this thing on here. Here, Garrett, come on up. Come on up to the. Just, just tell people like strategies, like some some strategies on how to win. Don't get Brody. Yeah. Because it's it's not about a true story. <laughs> it's not about, it's about a good story. A good, yeah, yeah. It's that just takes and by the way, somebody can just tell a two second story and win right now. Yeah, like literally, oh, all you have to do here is, it is tell, it's tell beginning. A, tell a two second uh, story. Well, my story was true, uh, every word of it, sadly. And uh, well, I don't know. Almost kill your friend with a fake phallus. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah. no. Actually, no. You know what the, the strategy is? Be born or at least grow up in Florida. It gives you an yeah. unfair advantage. Yeah. Which, by the way, we got some homegrown crowd here today. So uh, I, I hopefully expect. Uh, is anybody? Were you coming up? No. <laughs> oh no! I thought we had. We we got one. All right, give him. Don't a be shy. All right. Get yeah. On. No. Uh, uh, CJ go, has, go. has yeah, all yeah, right, here we go. We got one. We got one. All right, let's here we go. Right, round of applause. Everybody, all right, every judge, right, uh, right. Joss. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Where am I judging? You're in. You're in. Oh, I'm in. Okay, I'm judging. By right, the way, ready? one thumbs down equals you're brodied. All right. So I work in a shipyard that launches really big ships down the side, which launch really big waves. Uh, a whole bunch of ladies and families and kids are all in the front row, not realizing they're about to get wiped out. And as you see the wave coming and you hear the kids screaming and people saying, oh, the humanity. And I have the video to back it up. There you go. All right. Hey, did anybody time that? Somebody should time these. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the whole point. That was of a good practice round, though. Do you want to like, again? Let's give them what? Uh, 15 Five, uh, 10 seconds. seconds. That was 10, 10 seconds. seconds. Sure. Right. 10 you seconds. Time the rest All right. Of I'll these. time the rest of them. Absolutely. All right. Here we go. Uh, who's up now? What's your name, bud? Hey, it's CJ. I'm the uh, guy who at Dragon Con last year told the story about walking in on a guy giving a blowjob to a dead person. Um, <laughs> all right, and you all can right. So, so <laughs> we all start in the same place. Can I actually? I, I, can I? Can I make this point? Uh, CJ, how many times have you competed in a don't get Brody uh, situation? A don't get Brody contest? Like four. <laughs> and how many times have you won? None. <laughs> this is right, hey, right. you would have let me finish That's That's dedication, dedication, I'm people. still salty about Brian, by the way, at Dragon Gun, who didn't let me finish my story. I would have won. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no, that is true. That is true. That's uh, also right. the point. Uh, CJ, do me a favor. Don't get Brody. <laughs> and go. All right. So I was dating this girl. She was a Catholic school girl, and uh, she was in theater class as well. So I decided to go to uh, her uh, her play performance, and I couldn't find her after the show. So I'm walking around the halls trying to find out where she is. I'm finding her. I'm suddenly hearing mo these moaning noises coming from down the hallway. I'm like, oh, sure, I'm going to go check that the fuck out. I go down there, and I see my girlfriend at the time getting done in the ass by her science teacher. He pulls out, immediate cum shot. Done. <laughs> What? Are, are you allowed to just make up a porno? Is, uh, do we have a, 
Yeah, I, I, what are the rules well, on that? I mean, we could have brodied him for that. Yeah. I'll, I'll allow it. I mean, number <laughs> one, I, he's at Wait, 28 whoa, whoa, seconds. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, sorry, you yeah, have to no, face the CJ, tribe. come yeah, back. CJ, get back Come back here. here. Also, I love the fact that that story in its structure was the same as its content. <laughs> like, <laughs> It was a lot of searching and then an abrupt, if colorful, end. <laughs> all right, wow. first of all, CJ, how, how true is this? Is that this is 100% true. I could get <laughs> high school and <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, Ixnay on the E-Tails day. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I am uncomfortable. I just, <laughs> I have some questions about vantage point. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, but, okay, there's okay. A, there's Admittedly, a, it could have just been doggy but, style, but, 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 but sure but, as hell, when he pulled out, it's just all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Uh, so who wants to follow that? Hey, <laughs> CJ, everybody. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, CJ. Come on up, come on up. CJ right. has the title at 28 seconds, a seasoned veteran. Uh, lucky uh, don't luckily get for the other contestants, it's about length and not impact. Oh, well, it's all about how you finish. Uh, <laughs> all right, here we go. Sir, what's your name? I'm Ed. And where are you from? Florida, right here. Orlando. In Orlando? Oh. All right. Ed, do us a favor, buddy. Don't get brooded. Go. All right. So this is the story of how I escaped the Navy base, so I go on vacation. I was in the Navy in Chicago under training. I got in trouble for sleeping. They told me I couldn't leave base. I had already rented a car. Me and my friend had to go. So I snuck out. Oh, I tried sneaking out of a window. Someone almost caught me doing that. Went down off the, the quarter deck, waited until someone switched watches, ran out the fucking door. Then went all the way to the rental car, picked up my friend, went out to, all the way to Detroit. We got to Detroit. We went clubbing. We went to a party of this uh, house. Uh, everyone got really fucking. Oh! Oh! Did you end up arrested? Actually, that's we don't like, care. That's like a fifth of the story. Yo, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> that's a fifth of the story? Not even. Not even really. Okay. But well, that's the problem with don't get brodied, right? Look, look, you know? Look. Yeah. You start to, I mean, like, yeah. obviously, you left the naval base. Like, that's the point, like, <laughs> of the I action. left the naval base story. It's Re kind of in the title. Quick, for, for the record, there's an actual oh, baby God. in the back sitting at a bar watching oh, these thanks. stories be told. I just want to. Yeah. Thank you for the guilt. I will say, sir, what was your name again? Ed. Ed told that story for 34 seconds. Yeah. Oh, oh, new champion. Making him the new champion of oh, Don't Get Brody. All right, Should ladies be. and gentlemen, approaching the mic is our very own Chris Minton, Mitzula, the Mike Rula, the old schooler. Hey, Do uh, favor, buddy. Chris, Don't Get Brody. Go ahead. In college, I booked a lot of bands and entertainers, and we went to a little convention called NACA. Oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. This has nothing to do with you. Okay, good. Then this then has then nothing keep going, to keep do going, with you. Sorry, okay, start wait over. a minute, hold on. Let's hold understand. On. Chris <laughs> booked Brian back in the day, like <laughs> a, a million years ago, and you just preemptively, because you were afraid. No, that I was something... just really bored with the story, is all. I didn't know where it was going. <laughs> all right. What could be interesting about booking entertainers? <laughs> go, I'm sorry, all right, go, go yeah, we're, go we're gonna Don't restart. Get Brody. Yeah, and go. So I go to NACA in Little Rock, Arkansas. CJ was there, but Brian wasn't. So I get there and we go to this bar and I meet an agent that I was talking to and he's like, hey, come have some drinks at this dueling piano bar. So we start doing drinks and all of a sudden in walks Mr. Belding. So Mr. Belding comes in and sits down at my table because I'm still drinking with his agent. And we just start doing round after round after round of lemon drops. The bar closes. <laughs> yeah, I know, lemon drops. The bar closes. The bartenders are like, you guys should leave, but Mr. Belding's here. We're gonna give you a few more rounds. <laughs> Hold on, the bar manager takes his phone out and says, here, call my kids and tell them hi at two in the morning. <laughs> so it's like 2.30, 3 o'clock, they finally kick us out of the bar. We find out there's a pool hall down the street that's open late that serves beer. So he's like, hey, let's go, I've got a van coming, we're gonna go to this pool hall. It's like four in the morning, I've gotta get up at camp at seven and book stuff. I'm like, I can't do this, I gotta go to bed. He's like, get in the van, get in the van now. I'm like, no, he's like, I'm gonna give you detention. I'm like, you can't do that. I said, you can't do that, Mr. Belding. He says, fine, you fucking pussy, and slams the door shut. <laughs> Four hours later, I see him at camp. I walk up, he is green. I walk up to him and I go, so how was the pool hall? He goes, it was really bad, but you're still a fucking pussy. <laughs>
Man, I that hope I'm not- right now is our leader in the clubhouse at one minute and 19 seconds. For, uh, for the record, like, I hope I'm not talking out of school, but like, I'm pretty sure I could get Mr. Belding on the phone, like, right now to verify that story. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, first of all, what I you, mean by that is it's totally can't. real. Like, oh, that's no. exactly the way Dennis oh, is. No, Dennis, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you cannot spend any time around people who book college entertainment without hearing a grody <laughs> AF Mr. Belding story. <laughs> like, that dude does dirt. That's a fact. Well, uh, that, th those tend to turn right, a who's darker. Next? Who's, who could beat 119? All right, this is... 19. 119. All right, sir, what's your name? Michael. Where are you from? Right here in Orlando. All right, oh. here we go. Do me uh, everybody, don't get brody. Start. Okay, I was 12 years old. We were coming back from a family vacation in Hawaii, and I had a lava rock in my pocket. Now, supposedly, it's bad luck to take lava rocks off of the islands, and while I'm not a superstitious person, later that summer, we got hit. Uh, the eyes of hurricanes Charlie, Francis, and Gene all went through Central Florida. 21 seconds. That's not bad. Not bad. I mean, what are you, Stephen King? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like the eyes of the hurricane. I, I was waiting for it to turn into the Brady uh, Hawaii special. <laughs> the Brady Bunch? Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. Well, there I'm we just, go. Dude, good one. Good job, sir. Good job. Good clap. job. This is where the competition tends to get interesting because not only do you have to tell an, uh, an interesting story, but you got to tell one that's over a minute and 18 seconds. Yeah. Uh, Joss, uh, having watched uh, a few of these, like, do you have any words of advice to anybody that would come up now to try to dethrone Mitsula? Make sure we can hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get up on that mic. There is, there is a get little right bit of, in a, there. A, yeah, a you little, a little bit it. of mic mumbling. All right, uh, ready, ready. What's sir, your name, what's your name? I'm John from Syracuse, New York. Can you yeah. Hear me okay? yeah. My mom works right. at SC. Pandering, pandering, salt potatoes. <laughs> get him out. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> All right, John, don't get brody. Go. I was in the military. I was in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. We're doing a ruck march, and MREs in the military are the food that you get. They either make you shit or stop you from shitting. And <laughs> this is the first port potty we've seen in three days. My buddy is sick of using logs, so he says, I'm going to go in the port potty I'll catch up with you later. He goes inside the port potty sees three black widows, but not until after he's already dropped his pants and started going. So he screams while everybody walks by in formation. Falls out of the porta potty with his pants down, covered in his own shit and piss. Oh! Dr <laughs> Drill sergeants make him get up, fall back in formation after pulling his pants up, finish the march. So he goes for another five miles like that in 100 degree Missouri heat before finally being able to clean, get cleaned up and then being written up for sexual harassment for exposing himself in front of a company. <laughs> Standing ovation for that man right there. How did he do? Did he, did he have it where it counted? However, <laughs> ooh, it was only a 51 second story. Not enough. All right, we have another contender. Who do we got? We have Scotty Moore, Brian. That's my name. Scotty Emo. Scotty Emo. Uh, Scotty, uh, where are you from? I am from here, Kissimmee. What is your favorite emo band? What? <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Emo is not a fan. <laughs> oh, no. You made him emo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the answer is himself, apparently. Yeah. Scotty Mo. Scotty Mo. Scotty Mo. Yes. Uh, all right, Scotty, don't get brodied. Go! We are all at my friend's house, and we're all chilling out, and then eventually, they, we all decide to leave. Get a little bit closer. Okay, yeah. Justin, was that interesting enough for you? So we all decide to leave. We all decide to get out, but my best friend is still there with his girlfriend. They decide to have sex on the way while we're on the way out. We come back in. My friend Jacoby decides, I'm going to go get them out of this situation. So, my friend describes it as thusly. I was having sex with her. I hear her scream, oh God, I thought I was doing very good until I looked up and saw Jacoby in the door holding a giant broadsword, at which point he points it at us and declares, proceed, and then, <laughs> then she screams, 
runs to the bathroom, and the way he describes it is I took the only weapon I have, which was my cock shiny with condom on it, stands up and proceeds to sword fight him as he hits him with the hilt of the sword over and over. And uh, the best part of this story was that the entire quest was described by Jacoby as Beowulf attempting to slay Grendel. <laughs> Pretty good. There we Pretty go. Good. A All story right. packed with themes, action, adventure, Cox. <laughs> but only lasting one minute and one second. Oh! Mm. 17 seconds Man. off the lead. Unless, unless we have another contender. I think we're about to declare. Oh! oh we got someone up on their feet. Are they going to the bathroom? <laughs> are they getting a coffee? Or are they about to try not to get broken? All right, I think this will be our last. Yeah, this is our, our last, last one. Our last competitor here at the Filthy Create casual, Con edition the of, a, of Don't Get Brody. A real quick swing around our panel. Garrett Vinezerl, the creator of Create Con. Do you think he has it in him? I don't know. His hat does say filthy casual. <laughs> but are uh, you a filthy casual storyteller? Is it, this is a tougher game than people think it is. It is. No, it's really tough. By the way, CJ is here in the front row, just like daggers in his eyes to everybody <laughs> who's like, like, oh, but much like apparently your old science teacher finished a little too early. <laughs> uh, Joss, what do you think? Do you think that this, just look into his eyes, do you think this man has a shot to oh, take the crown? Him. Look at that shirt. He's about to tell us a story like no one's watching. All right. <laughs> and, uh, sir, what's your name? Uh, for the purpose of the story, it'll be Jim. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to Already. a good start. Strong, off to a great strong start. Strong start, Jim. Where are you from? I am from Polk County, Florida. All right. Oh, sh Jim. Yeah. That's where dirt gets Don't done. Get brodied. Go. All right, so this story starts out, I was 22 years old, I was at Florida State University, and this is the tale of how I became known as the least classy man in the United States. I'm at a party, we're having it for a friend's birthday, we had had fried food all day, and my stomach started to feel a little, yeah. Well, the bathroom was already full, because it's a college party, and they're girls, and they take five and a half hours to piss. So, <laughs> I'm left with the, with the moment I have to take a shit, and I have nowhere to do it. Well, we have an elevated deck over the backyard. There's a little bit of grass on the outside. I decide to go outside. I get poised on the deck, ass hanging off, totally out, in the wind, pants down, around my ankles. Someone grabs me and stops me and says, dude, you can't do that. You can't shit in the yard. I'm like, dude, it's my yard. What the hell? <laughs> All right. I pull my pants up, but I'm already past the point of no return. This shit <laughs> is happening. Okay? It... I shit myself. <laughs> I literally shit in my pants as a 22-year-old man. Well, one of the people to witness this was a young man, an exchange student from Melbourne, Australia. He comes <laughs> up to me and says, you, sir, I can't, good eye, might all oh, crikey, you're the least classy asshole in America. Well, the story doesn't end there. The pants ended up in the dryer because I'm classy, and that seemed to make sense. Three years later, I'm in Brisbane at a pub. No. I am talking to someone who asks me where I'm from. I say Florida. He says, well, crikey, mate, I heard this story about a guy from Florida that shit his no! pants. <laughs> That's how I became the least classy man in America. <laughs> that was a hell of a story. On a, on a night with a lot of fecal themes. I, Indeed. I, I, I think the strategy is uh, pause strategically for laundry details. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the, the, the real trick is never take a breath unless you've ended on a cliffhanger um, <laughs> or a deck hanger. Or a turtle hanger. head. <laughs> Uh, yeah, dude, uh, you win. Jim, Jim is uh, certainly told a great story. Unfortunately, for Mitzula, <laughs> oh! you had one minute and 46 seconds. You are the champion of Joan Get Rode. Dude. 
<laughs> so, uh, you want to take a little diamond time? Of course, of course. Diamond time is where you can shout out your projects right here on our show. Head on over to our subreddit. That is diamondclub.reddit.com or uh, reddit.com slash r slash diamondclub. Uh, the sticky post right there at the top will be where you can shout out your project. Uh, normally, we give the top three of them, but we only have one. Well, we're also doing the show three days early, so uh, <laughs> a lot of people who are normally used to getting it on Monday probably won't be able Good to. Good old Coxix Cracker writes us <laughs> saying, hey guys, I don't have a project. August 2nd's my birthday, and if I can have just one gift, is for you guys to give a shout out to my fiance Amanda. We've been together six and a half years now, and while it's not always been easy, she's always loved me, pushed me to the best version of myself I could be when the day we met, and I can see myself growing old with her. At least until we die in a fire. <laughs> Love you, babe. Please don't die. All right, so let's Aww. let's let's go ahead and try this as a crowd. Hey, Amanda, clap, 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 clap. Can we can we do that? Hey, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. All right, stop. Never be the person who does it four times. Yeah. Never. It always comes in threes. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, uh, we'll, we'll be able to shout out. We'll, we'll shout out five on the next show. Yeah, we'll uh, check you back in on, uh, on the movie draft. We don't have a movie draft minute, but how are you feeling, Tom Merritt? Uh, I'm feeling neutral. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's it, it, going to come down. It's a, to no, us. it's, it's, yeah. it's going to come down to numbers in the fourth week of Suicide Squad. Right, right now, we're at 861, and you're at 604. Right. Um, how did... How did yeah, do we, have, do we have second week numbers for Star Trek? Uh, no, you know what? I bet they're emerging right now, because today is Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure yeah. Someone, someone can probably run them up. If somebody wants to look them up there in the... Uh, in, in, Dude, in it's there. all down to Suicide Squad, whether or not it makes a quarter million or not. Yep. Mm. Yep. How do you think it's going to do? I think it's going to kick your ass. Oh. oh. Uh, 22. 22? For, uh, and how did Star Trek do? Uh, 6.75. Yipes. That's your yeah, right. <laughs> Just has to do equivalent to Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right. Dude, that's it, guys. Whoop, that was louder than I wanted it to be. There we go. Uh, we learned a lot today, man. We did. We learned that uh, freaking Orlando, Florida is a rad place for us to meet some of the finest people yeah. on the internet. Uh, we learned that uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Garrett Weinzer, puts on a hell of a conference, huh? Yeah! We learned that Jocelyn Moffat says, oh, hell no to your ninja scheme. Although those do look like really nice beds. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab some of those. And we learned that Tom Merritt is totally screwed in the movie draft. No, maybe not. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Until next week, we'll see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire, everybody. Thank you, Orlando! Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>